The first thing we really have to understand is that freedom is not free. The men and women of our armed forces for several generations have made great sacrifices, some of them the ultimate sacrifice, so that we could live in the freedom that we have today that is guaranteed to us by our national constitution and by our state constitutions. The freedom to worship where we want to and to who we want to. The right to defend ourselves against enemies. The right to gather and petition, and petition our government and the freedom of the press that many countries don't have. We enjoy a freedom here in the United States that is unprecedented in any part of the world because of the men and women in our armed forces who have made the sacrifice so we could be here today.